Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Austin Hancock. And uh, today what we're going to talk about is how to get taken serious when you're young. Uh, the reason I'm going to talk about this is because I remember starting my uh, first business at like 24, 25 years old. I started making money. I started getting out there, putting myself out there. And I can remember how awkward it was at the very beginning because I had this vision, I had this illusion in my head that I was too young to be doing the things that I was doing. Now me specifically, I wasn't doing online businesses. So you guys probably don't feel that way technically when you're doing online businesses. But when you're in any kind of industry that you're having to rub elbows with older people or the majority of the demographic of people in that industry are older than you, you're competing with people that are running bigger businesses than you or it's something that you're doing face to face or even maybe your clients may be an older client. Um, I remember still feeling very insecure about my age, even though at the age of 21 or 22, I got out of the Marine Corps. So I had a lot of life experience and I just had this vision of myself that was like, I'm just so young as a builder. And I was a home builder, right? I started building homes at first and then I started a service business and I could still remember not feeling like I was old enough to do that. I don't know why, but it was something that caused me problems. And so the best advice that I could give you guys today, if you are in an industry like that, that you're talking to older people or you're working around people that are highly qualified, maybe they're making a lot of money, maybe they're not. Maybe they're just looking at you like, who do you think you are, young buck? Just be confident in yourself. But here's the difference in being confident and being arrogant. And a lot of times young people come across as arrogant because they're like, oh, I know this and I can do that. And, ah. and I have people come up to me that are young that uh, are very excited and driven. And there's nothing more annoying or a bigger turnoff than somebody that's not done a damn thing in life that thinks they know everything in life. Make sure you don't do this. This is a huge tip right here, okay? So write this one down, huge tip. If you haven't done it, don't talk about it. Only talk about what you're qualified to talk about. You know, if you're starting a business, I've only built one home and I was listening to people that had built hundreds of homes. I'm gonna say, hey, yeah, on the one home that I've built, this is what I was doing, what do you think about that? Should I have done this? I have questions on that. Only talk about what you're qualified to talk about. Hey, what's up guys, Austin Hancock here. I get a lot of messages asking for some help in some capacity, whether it's financial, fitness, mindset, something to make your life better, something to make it to where you can go from this point right here, where you are now, to the dream life that you've always wanted to be living. Shoot me a text or give me a call, 405-697-4072. The number's right here, 405-697-4072. Call or text the number and let's change your life. You don't have to lie, you don't have to feel insecure, you don't have to feel inadequate because they get it. What I realize now is I get it, you've only started, but just be honest. Don't try to big dog people, don't try to act bigger than you are. You aren't, we, everybody knows it and when you start acting arrogant or you start being like, well I'm gonna do this and I have this many property, I have this and my dad does this, you look stupid and people see right through it and nobody wants to help you. And I'm not saying be passive or just bend the knee to everybody, but I am saying, be open-minded, listen, hear them out. Take that piece of information and, and absorb it and move on. You know, maybe that piece of information isn't for you. Maybe you don't want to run your business like Uncle Jerry or freaking maybe the builder Bob down the street. I did know that uh, they have built more homes than me and so I was going to take the home building knowledge that they were telling me and apply it, right? Maybe not their business scalability model, maybe not getting wealthy. At that time for me, Building was the tool that I used to make money, and in order to be a better builder, I needed to listen to better builders, okay? And so, regardless of where you're at, if you're a young person, you're starting an entrepreneurship, be honest with where you're at, reconcile where you're at, and then be open-minded to learning from people that are at a higher level than you. Now, something else clicked with me as I got older was making sure that I wasn't taking advice from people that weren't where I wanted to be, okay? And I've made those mistakes and I thought, well, I gotta take advice from this guy because he's making more money than me. He has a bigger building company than me. He has more real estate than me, whatever it may be. But maybe just the factor of the real estate, I'd be like, okay, that's how you buy homes. Oh, that's how you do deals. That's how you flip. Didn't mean that I wanted to run my whole life like them. So be careful what information you're getting from them because what happens is when you come to people that are older than you, especially older than you, remember, you're asking for advice. You're coming to them and asking for advice. So you are gonna get a lot of advice. They're not gonna hold back and be like, mm, well, I'm only gonna give this guy business advice because he probably doesn't want my life. No, they want their life, so they think you want their life as well, right? So they're gonna give you all this advice and just take what you need out of it and move on with your life. But one of the biggest things and why we started and the way we made this video is for young people to absorb and realize like, hey, be realistic with where you're at. I've had people, no shit, we're literally sitting in front of my car behind the camera, C63 AMG and there's a Range Rover. I've had younger people that can't even afford these cars, that couldn't afford the freaking Ford Focus, literally. They're, they're broke as can be, come up and tell you why your car isn't the best model or is this and that. That's a loser mentality. I'll tell you another story. When I was 
29 years old, I was building my first custom home, and I'm 29, right? I already bought a home when I got back from Iraq, coming out of the military, and my wife is pregnant, we have a baby already, and I remember being in that neighborhood, that neighborhood I moved in was a gated community, had a pool, had a hot tub, had an HOA community, had a freaking biking trail, it was super nice. I'm building a 3,500 square foot house at 29 years old because I had started my company, because I bet on myself, because I asked questions, because I listened to mentors that were older than me. I just remember feeling insecure at that point because my neighbors were 45 and I was 29, 30, right? My other neighbors were in their 50s and the other ones were retired. And so uh, fortunately I had a good friend in there that's about 10 years older than me, but he was one of my mentors and I moved in the neighborhood that he lived in, which was awesome. I'm saying all that, you know, I felt insecure about my age. I felt like, wow, this is crazy. I'm, I'm really doing well for how old I am, but it also scared me. It scared me like this is it, right? Some people's retirement plans were in that neighborhood while other people, well, I was just living there at 29, if that makes sense. And so what I want you guys to do is make sure you understand where you're at and you are open-eared and that you screen the information. Also, what's helped me in the long run is putting myself in rooms that I was uncomfortable. So if you are young, Listen, smile, you know, shake hands, look people in the eyes, be comfortable, know who you are, but you don't have to come in with all these insecurities and start blabbing your mouth about how great you are and all the stuff you're going to do because that's a red flag that you haven't done shit. And then the other thing is if you sit in the corner and you're really quiet, nobody's going to know who you are, so nobody can help you out. No other person that's been through maybe the things you're going through can help you out because you haven't said anything. So. Make sure that you're kind of conversing with people, you're not too arrogant, be a good person, be comfortable and confident in who you are. And I'm gonna tell you this, my perspective and something that helped me a ton, but being physically fit helped me be confident in myself. So coming into the rooms, knowing that I was a strong person, that I looked good, I was proud of my body, proud of my physique, no matter what, what room I was in, helped me come up and talk to people that may be worth 10 times what I was worth, 100 times what I was worth at that time. And I could talk to them, I could shake their hand, I could say hello, and I could ask for information. And I never was too scared to ask for information. I was like, hey, I've seen you compliment people, right? Hey, Bob, I've seen you building like 10 houses in the neighborhood I've been looking in, that's awesome. I love Love the style of homes you're doing. Would you mind sharing some advice for you know a younger version of yourself, someone like me that's 29 doing this, or 30 doing this, or 25 or 22, whatever you are. And so compliment people, ask a question. Compliment, ask a question. Compliment, ask a question. Shake hands, be nice, don't be an arrogant asshole. Everybody knows that you haven't done a damn thing when you're 20 years old, even if you think you have, even if you're freaking online and you're selling courses or you're selling bullshit, you still haven't done anything, so be real. Click the link, like the video. If you want more information on what I provide, down at the bottom, I have a school link. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be spitting a lot more game. Thanks, guys. Fucking jets and shit.